this whole process has been so easy because you know Matt's always been saying yes and, and yes I'm up for that and I want to do that. But part of me maybe thinks, is he, does he just say yes because he's in a bubble, he's in an experiment? Or maybe he doesn't want to upset me by saying no. I do think Matt's the one. But something that's really important is I have to consider life outside the experiment. I've had to really dig for some answers to see if there is hope for us. So I have come to a decision. It's the right one and it has to be said today. I came into this experiment because I wanted to meet somebody that would change my life. I wanted to meet somebody that I would fall in love with and they would fall in love with me. But now I feel we're at that next step. Where we're both putting ourselves on the line and it could go either way. Hi, husband. Hi. <laughs> you look amazing. So do you. Fabulous. Yeah. Are you ready? Go for it, Abby. Coming into this experiment, I had hopes and dreams of meeting someone who would change my life forever. Standing at the altar on our wedding day, waiting to see you for the first time, was the most vulnerable and emotional I've ever felt. I was so nervous. But when I turned and saw you walking towards me, a heart that was full of fear became filled with joy. To be standing here today with you is all I have ever dreamed this could be. But there are still some big factors to consider. There is distance between us and there's been lots of debate about where we could build a future together. To move away from where I feel most secure and where I'm surrounded by family and friends is a massive decision to make. As I look into your eyes, I see love and I love you, Dan. And that is why there is no real decision for me. You're my best friend, my partner in crime, <laughs> and most importantly, the partner I want in my life. Let's continue this incredible and amazing journey together. I will always have your back, and you will always have my heart. And I mean every word. Yeah. Yes, it's my turn now. <clears throat> Matthew. I came into this process looking for an open, loving, and kind person. And that's exactly what I saw when I first laid eyes on you on our wedding day. We've literally laughed, sang, and danced our way through this experiment, showing me the true importance of friendship in any kind of relationship. But I didn't come for friendship. So here I stand today with a big decision to make and it has to be the right one. You say you're willing to move to Northern Ireland, but will you resent me down the line for making you move away from your friends and family? Or do I move to Leeds and grow regretful of my decision? I know we both want a family, but I worry our time frames are getting further apart. I question maybe if you're simply agreeing with everything that I say and haven't taken on the reality of life outside of the experiment. Something that's been weighing on my mind is the question, do I need to be cruel to be kind? The truth 
of the matter is, I'm in love with you. I love you, Matthew. And it was clear from the beginning. As the days grew, so did my feelings for you. I was shocked at how fast I was falling. I always thought I was a bit of a slow burner, but I've never met such a bright flame as you. Our only true barrier has been distance. But this process with you has taught me that a place doesn't define a home. It's the person that you share it with. So come on, let's get out of here. Let's make memories, let's make mistakes, and let's grow together this amazing connection that we have so we can both achieve really what we've always wanted in our lives. I couldn't have asked for a better husband, a better friend, a better queenie. <laughs> you have made this, uh, honestly, the most magical experience and one that I wish to continue out in the real world. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being you. <laughs> I'm feeling great. The man said yes. It's incredible to think that coming into this experiment, wanting to meet somebody that would change my life, and Dan has completely changed my life. He's the most amazing person that I've ever met, and I'm so lucky to be here with you now. And you are my soulmate, and I'm so excited for everything that's to come. I love you so much. I love you. It's been life-changing, it's been life-affirming. You know, I can't ask for anything more. It's the perfect situation.